it was just a really good game, to be honest. I mean, held them to 22 points in, or 24 points in the first half. Uh, kind of fell off with the intensity, like which, like what we've been talking about. But um, and all, I mean, it's stuff we can fix, stuff we can control. And we just need the uh, next game, just keep it going. Oh, you guys can go away with questions for Antoine. Did you know how close you were to the all-time record? Uh, no, I didn't actually. I was just, I was just out there hooping. To be honest, I didn't, I didn't know anything about it. Was that the best you felt this year? You think? Uh, probably since freshman year when I uh scored forty-eight. So. Antoine, how to, um, how did you adjust in the second half? Um, obviously, all the threes in the fruit are still there. Can you leave? No, oh, I'm here. Can you see me? <laughs> oh, there's a green screen. I see. <laughs> he disappeared. <laughs> um, how did you adjust in the second half? Obviously, the eight threes in the first. Um, your game, you know, distributed a little bit more in the second half, drove the basket a little bit more. Um, is that just something – you think that's a, kind of a maturation of your game this year? Uh, yeah, I mean, I felt like they were going to start playing me a little bit harder since I did hit, you know, eight threes or whatever in the first half. So I just decided to just drive and just either settle with my mid-range and if I didn't have the mid-range to just kick it out to open people. How good does it feel not just to play in the postseason, but to get a postseason victory for the first time in your career? I mean, everybody should feel good. I mean, it was an ugly win, especially in the second half. I mean, with stuff, like I said, we can control, stuff we can fix. Um, but I mean, all in all, everybody should be excited because it was a good win. Thanks, man. Any more questions for Antoine? All right, Antoine, you can probably go home and, and rest up. You uh, you probably deserve it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go home, rest, eat, probably get on the game for a little bit. <laughs> okay. oh, thanks, Antoine. Yeah, appreciate it. Coach, you can, uh, Coach, you can start with uh, a <laughs> statement about uh, you know today's game. Well, I'm just happy that we won. Uh, happy that we was able to uh, get our tournament win. Um, happy for our guys uh, playing. Twan, Twan. Happy for our guys uh, playing the way they play. You know, it, it was it was a good it was a good win for us. All right, you good? Take your time. I right, you guys can go with your questions for Coach Davis. Mike, you, uh, are you happy you don't have to see Robert Morris again for a while? I'm really happy. I'm really happy. We don't have to ever see them. They they play so hard, you know, and they're well coached. Uh, they execute, they cut hard, they pass the ball. Uh, if they catch you sleeping, they make the extra pass. Um, you know, it was a great win for us, but I was nervous the whole day uh, just thinking about them. You know, I, I, I everybody said you can't beat the team three times and you know, as a coach, we so superstitious about everything. And I just kept saying, well, woo, man, you know, yeah. Hope they're not right. Then I go back and I watch IUPUI. They played Milwaukee four times and, they, and, and Milwaukee beat them the first two games and lost the third game. So us being superstitious again, like, oh, that was the third game they lost. It wasn't three in a row. And so um, just was really nervous before the game from, from that standpoint. Then the second half, I felt good at halftime. Second half, we came out and gave them a rebound on the offensive. On, on the free throw, I said, oh, uh, here we go again. But then Twan made a couple of shots and, and got us going. How about um, how about Chris Brandon? Um, obviously, you know, he had his issues early in the year with the injury and everything. And uh, he seemed to kind of give you guys a little bit of a spark there in the second half. He was good. You know, you know we, 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 we talked about this so much about, uh, about uh, just not having our team, you know, not having our team and not being in practice. And a lot of people did that, you know, didn't have a team. But for us, it was it was crucial because, you know, not having Chris and Noah, it took us a while to incorporate those guys into what we're doing. And they still feeling that way. They still feeling that way. So, you know, Chris stepped up, big rebounds. He's got a better touch from the free throw line this year. Um, he make layups around the basket. Uh, he catch lobs and, you know, he chased people down for block shots. And, you know, he was really huge. He, he, he was big for us tonight, really big. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Coach. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if I'm coming in late here, so I'm sorry if someone's already asked you. But it won't matter. We won. You can ask me anything four times. Keep asking the same question. I don't care. 
<laughs> so tell me this. Does it help that Robert Morris shot as well as they did in the second half? Almost 50 points. I mean, is it almost helpful that you had a tight game rather than a blowout? Does that help you for Northern? Don't help me at all. Don't help my nerve. I've been nervous about this game. I want I want it to be a 30-point win. You know, but they're not going to quit. This, this, this team is not going to quit. You know, I think we were the only team to beat them twice by double digits. And uh, I read the coach's quote talking about they got to come out and have focus for 40 minutes. And they came out and played as hard. Uh, but 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 Torn carried us the first half. They Torn had 24 the first half, and they had 24 the first half. And so uh, second half, they kept playing, kept playing, kept playing. And what, what they did was, you know, forget the offense. Let's just drive. They just started driving, 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 driving. And, and that really hurt us. Coach, I know you probably can't predict this, but obviously, uh, was there something about Antoine maybe in shoot around in practice yesterday that you saw a performance like this uh, coming, you know, coming, or did it just happen naturally on the court? Well, you know, when you put the work in and put the work in and you see him continue to concentrate. Think about this, uh, PJ. A guy shoot an hour worth of shots and holding his follow through for a two count. You know, that's contrast that's focus. And so, you know, you, you're going to have great nights, off night, great night, off night. You know, you look at Steph Curry, all those guys, they have great night, off night. But, but when you focus on your technique, you know, you will have nights like this. And in the last, uh, against Cleveland State in the second half, and, and against uh, Robert Mars, the first two games, he didn't shoot it well in those three, in those two games in that second. His first half against Cleveland State, he was really good. And then he came back tonight and, and he just stayed aggressive. I, th I think the, the one shot he missed, the first shot he missed in the game was probably the, the most wide open that he was all night. And so, uh, you know, you just got to stay locked in. You got to stay focused. You got to stay with his the technique is everything. He just got to stay with his technique. Coach, what was the turning point for Antoine? He started off just struggling so much this season. What did you see from him that allowed you to think that this was possible? Well, listening to his dad, you know, he was, he was, see, let, let me explain something to you about success. You know, he's a humble kid, but when you got people on the internet talking about you this, you that, you that, you that, and then you just come in and punch the clock and all you're doing is just shooting shots and practice and shooting shots in your routine, you know, he's focusing on, on his shot now. He was just shooting shots. If you go back and watch the film, earlier say he was just shooting the ball real fast, quick, no follow through. He just thought his name was Antoine, the ball was going in. And so it had to take that struggle for him to start listening to me again. You know, and, 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 and we got back in the gym and I told you that, that, that when we got through, it was the night we shot 100 threes from, from five spots. He had to make 90 out of 100. And I got to the point to tell him where if you don't hold your follow through for a two count, the one you make don't count, you know? So, so that's, 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 pretty, that's pretty difficult to do. And so he did it. He didn't like me for about two minutes. He hated me for about three minutes. You know, and then when it was all said and done, he realized that's what he was missing in holding his follow through. So it's about his technique. It's about his technique. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Ujo, you've obviously been through these tournaments a time or two in your life, very successful. So what, what, what do you do tonight? Do you watch our game? You get ready for Northern Kentucky? You just enjoy this? Well, what, you know, what, what's uh, the coaching staff's plan for the rest of the night? I'm not sure what they're going to do, but I know what I'm going to do. You know, I'm going to go home and watch a little boss. You know, I just start watching this series. It may be old, but I've been watching it. I'm going to watch uh, a couple of episodes of that, watch Northern Kentucky, uh, then go, again, go to sleep, get back up, watch boss again, watch some more Northern Kentucky, go to sleep, wake up, do the same thing, and then it'll be about 10.30, and then I'll come in about 11. And then we'll watch it, uh, uh, Northern Kentucky. We'll break them down. Uh, we'll have a game plan uh, for our guys on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and get ready for the game on Tuesday. Mike, Antoine said he didn't know about the record. Did you know how close he was? To which record? The scoring record. I didn't know. I didn't, didn't know. know. I, 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 listen, I'm just trying to get a win, man. You know, it's been – it's been so long since we got a win. It's been so long since we had a winning season. You know, I'm just trying to figure that out. Now, I know the 10.3 uh, point, point cause I, I met the guy two years ago because um, uh, he told me he was watching our uh, Wright State game and Torn had eight threes and he was, you know, uh, watching to see if he broke the record or not. And I knew the 10 threes what was a, is it a title record or, or whatever it is for uh, D Detroit. So, you know, I also knew that if he got 22 points tonight, that he would be the third person in the history of school to get 2,000 points. 
And um, I knew that uh, record. And, you know, also, it's, it's, it's like I told Nan, you know, Breaking Dave the Busher record is both happy and sad, you know, because Dave the Bush has done so much for this program. He's, he's, a, he's a, a legend all over the world in basketball. You know, as, as, as a young guy, you know, in my hometown, Alabama, I knew who Dave DeBusha was. And, and for my son, name to be, you know, connected to his is something really special for me, you know, and, 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 and you, you want guys like that record to last forever, uh, but at the same time, you want to establish your own, you know, but, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's both happy and sad at the same time. Thanks, Mike. For those who want to know, Coach Davis had 1,211 points in his career. Hey, yeah. yeah don't forget about my career. And we didn't have a three-point line. <laughs> <laughs> How many would you would have it if you, if you did have a three-point line? About, about two points more. Because <laughs> I played at Alabama now, and, and we had Eddie Phillips and all those guys. You had to pass the ball inside to them three or four times before you shot the ball. So probably three points more. <laughs>